welcome to Eunice at home. I'm Eunice and today I'm so excited to share our updated balcony. They say that your home is always evolving and I think this is especially true for this outdoor space. So after watching this video, if you'd like to see the progression of our balcony, you can check out all the videos I have for it up on my channel. And that should give you a variety of balcony decorating ideas. The first thing we did was get a new coffee table. I knew I wanted to keep the chairs and the rug that we already have out here, so the table had to match those. I was so amazed by the price of this table when I found it on Walmart's website. The variety of finishes creates a lot of interest, and I love how the white tile with the marble finish contrasts that black steel frame. This black frame also matches our balcony railing perfectly. And then the bottom shelf is just so functional. I love that the brown wicker finish brings a lot of warmth. I've put some gardening tools down here as well. And overall, I thought this is such a great deal for a heavy duty outdoor table. I kept the decor on top very simple. I've always had this little planter. I created a fire pit using it in one of my previous DIYs, but it just got so windy out here that we never used it. So what I did instead was just fill it with these faux plants from Ikea. This is actually two little faux plants like squished together and I love how it gives a lot of volume. This may be my favorite Ikea faux plant because it just looks so realistic. We've also got this battery operated lantern that I got from Marshalls. Um, I actually bought like five different lanterns because I couldn't decide and I wanted to see which one looked best and this was the winner. I love the curves on this one. I think it really helps break up the hard lines of this coffee table and I love how the black accent helps tie everything together. I got this new love seat from Target to replace the bench that we had out here. The bench was more for like a dining table and it wasn't very comfortable on its own because you can't really lean back or anything like that. So that's why I wanted something with deeper seats that you can really lounge in so that the space is more inviting. The rounded back adds a really nice soft curve and it matches the rounded chairs that we have going on out here. And of course there's the wicker. I topped it with these small lumbar pillows also from Target. I I love the little tassels on these. I think they're so playful. It's a very simple design. I love the neutral color and the texture on these. And most importantly, they've also got a little zip cover so we can always clean these out. There's this giant blank wall behind me but we are not allowed to hang anything up on here because this is literally the exterior of our building but I really wanted something here to help bring the eye up and to fill up this upper area so I knew a tree would be perfect for that however we did not have the climate out here for a real one we barely get any sun because of the way the sun faces the building so I decided to get this faux eucalyptus one from Amazon this is such a nice big tree I am so impressed with how real this Look, there's a lot of detail on the trunk and the leaves. The shape is really nice and voluminous. I placed the tree inside this cute pot that I got from Marshalls. It's got this scalloped edge which adds a lot of fun and personality. And I just love that washed out terracotta texture. I wanted one more white element to tie in with the coffee table and I found this little side table at Target and I thought it was perfect. It's got a cement finish and that rounded top with the hourglass shape adds a really nice curve. I keep mentioning curves because I wanted to make sure that I added curves in here with the rounded chairs and the little lantern with this love seat to help balance out that giant square coffee table we have in the center. The curves also help to create a movement and flow around this space. The side table also really helps to just ground the area with the two chairs and it's also functional. You can place your drink on there if you're chilling out here. As I mentioned earlier, we did keep the chairs. Um, I love how durable and weatherproof they are. A lot of you love the flower boxes that I added out here last year and don't worry, they're still on our balcony. I moved them to the other side. I was feeling a little crowded by the love seat over here and the bushes are also not doing well at all. 
I don't know if they're meant to be in planters. They might do better just in the ground, <laughs> but I am not giving up on them yet. The side they are in now actually gets the most amount of sun during the summer. So I'm hoping that that's going to help and if they are able to revive, I think it's going to create a really nice view for the people who are sitting on the love seat. It feels a lot more spacious now that the boxes are over there and there's now a nice flow of movement around the rug area. After moving the boxes over there, we brought the succulents on the hanging planters to this side to kind of ground this area and wall it off. It gets so windy during some months. It's actually a very windy time right now, but I really wanted to film this outside for you. So during some intensely windy days, we've had furniture pieces flip over and that's why we got rid of the metal shelf units that we used to have here because the pots on them would just fly off. So when I picked the coffee table and the love seat, I made sure that I picked something very durable and heavy. The two chairs are very light but they can stack and I can place them in the corner when it does get too windy. We also don't have a roof out here. It is like the thing that I really wish we did have. We don't get heavy rain but every now and then it does get very misty and we'll get light showers so I finally invested in some outdoor furniture covers. I wanted covers that wouldn't stick out like sore thumbs so I found these gray ones on Amazon and I like how the gray kind of blends in with the gray flooring that we have out here. The covers also have this green stripe on the bottom which is a nice little stylish touch and they actually did not have a cover for a coffee table of this size so I ended up just getting an AC unit cover. <laughs> the width of it fits perfectly, but it's a little too tall. But I figured it'd be okay since we've already got some decor pieces on top anyways. I really want to be more diligent about maintaining our balcony this year. If you saw my recent video, I just deep cleaned this space and I also invested in some cleaning tools to make it more fun and accessible. And now that we've got some new furniture pieces, I'm feeling even more motivated to uh, keep this area clean and ready to use whenever we want to use it. If you made it this far, give me a little sunshine emoji down below because we seriously need more of it out here. I'm so excited to have this outdoor space that is more hostable and more comfortable to lounge in. It has been so foggy out here lately, but I am looking forward to the sunnier week so that we can chill out here more. I will make sure to link everything that I showed in this video today in the description box below and if there's anything that I can not find online, I'll make sure to find some dupes for you. I've got a ton of balcony related videos over on my channel and I know this is the season where a lot of you are starting to prep your outdoor spaces for the summer so I'll make sure to list those out for you below as well. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel to see more home decor and DIY videos from me and as always thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.